in this exercise will create fire. Now there's a lot of fire plugins for Photoshop that create fire or try to create fire, but I think none of them are free uh, and most of them give pretty crappy results. So we'll try to create um, something with good results and we'll use only Photoshop filters for it. Okay, let's start by typing in a letter. I'll type in B, as in Bob. I'll move it around just a bit. And I'll merge the layers. Control E to do that. Go to Image, Rotate Canvas, and rotate it 90 degrees. Go to Filter, Stylize and Wind. Choose Wind, and from the right, click OK. Now hit Control F to repeat the filter two times. Oops, I hit Control R by accident. And go to Filter, Rotate, Canvas to rotate it back as it was. Go to Filter, Blur, and choose Gaussian Blur. And hit in 3, like this. OK. Control U to bring up the hue saturation dialog and click colorize and type in 85. That looks nice. Hit OK. And we'll play with the liquify filter. Go to filter and choose liquify. OK. Make sure you have brush density 100 and brush pressure 100. OK. Now just try to simulate something that would resemble burning flames, like this. I think that kind of gives the impression that it wants to be a burning flame. So I'll click OK. You can do better, of course. And so let's duplicate the layer. And we'll colorize this one a little bit differently. Type in uh, 65. That's, that's nice. And 70. Click OK. And change the blending mode to overlay. Like this. Yeah, that's, that's starting to look nice. Now duplicate the layer again and change this one to Darken. Go to Filter, Blur and choose Gaussian Blur and this time do a blur of 9 pixels. Hit OK and we have something that looks like fire. You can play with the uh, blending modes of the top layer maybe to give better results maybe color burn this one looks nice the light and filters yeah color dodge looks nice too okay this concludes our tutorial and till next week have a nice time